So you're looking for a good concealed carry pistol with some holster options. Well, stick around and we'll help you out. What's going on guys, Trey here the Ghost Tactical doing a quick video on uh, my everyday carry rotation and concealed carry options with, with some different uh, holsters. So let's, uh, let's jump right in. My first option guys is going to be uh, for pocket carry. Uh, a little good 380 is, is a great option for a pocket carry whether you're in a business situation or some place that you can't really carry a holster with. Uh, a little 380 like this would be a perfect option for you to put in your pocket. Uh, my choice for a 380 is the Smith & Wesson MMP Bodyguard 380. Uh, this is a great little gun. Um, it's uh, the barrel length is about two and three quarters inches and about just over five inches total length. Really, really, um, really, really small and tiny. It is a polymer frame and the uh, the slide is is steel. Uh, really smooth action. Um, I, I like this gun a lot. It is a, obviously a 380 round. It's a 6 plus 1 capacity. Um, but this is a really good option for pocket carry. Uh, you, can, you can get um, a little wallet holster that you can put inside your pocket if you just don't want to have this in your pocket. But if you're looking for something to put in your pocket, uh, for the women, maybe put inside their purse or something like that, this would be a phenomenal gun uh, to put inside of a purse or inside your pocket. So that's option number one, uh, the Smith & Wesson m and Bodyguard 380. All right, moving on to uh, my personal EDC, which is 99% uh, of the time I'll carry this. Uh, this is uh, my EDC right here. It is the Smith & Wesson m and Shield 9mm. Uh, I absolutely love this gun. Um, it's a very versatile gun. You can wear it inside the waist, outside the waist. You could even put this in your pocket if you had to. Uh, it is small enough, being a subcompact, that it can fit in your pocket very easily. But there are many, many holsters that we'll go over with that uh, you can use with this. Uh, it is a polymer uh, base grip. The slide is steel. Very smooth. Uh, very, very good. Easy trigger pull. Um, you know the barrel length is just over three inches and the entire length is just over six inches so it is still a very subcompact pistol uh, that you could put in your pocket if you need to uh, let's go over some of the holster options that I I typically use with this uh, during the summertime um, when I'll be outside and sweating or whatever and doing some certain things the normal uh, it sounds crazy but the my mostly used holster for this is just a very simple Uncle Mike's uh, neoprene sleeve. reason why I like it is um, it clips inside the waist. It clips just over the belt. Uh, it's very lightweight. It's not bulky at all. Uh, whether I'm wearing shorts or pants or whatever, uh, it is a very, very simple and easy um, holster, and it's cheap. Um, I think I paid maybe like less than $10 for this, so... Um, if it breaks, I can go get to Walmart and I can go and get another one of these. Uh, if you're looking for something a little bit more durable, uh, if you, we'll, we'll talk inside the waist. This is a really good inside the waist holster. Um, this is a DeSantis um, inside the waist holster. And what I like about this is it has the multiple clips that, uh, you know, depending on what you're doing and where you're going, um, this is going to be very, very comfortable. On the back side, it is not plastic. It, it's got material back here to where it won't scratch. It is nice up against the skin. Uh, but the good thing about this is you have the dual clip system that is um, really, really nice to have. Again, we're in multiple positions. So the, the Santis is a really good option as well. Um, here is a new holster that was just sent to me by um, uh, Klinger Holsters. Uh, here in Arkansas, and I did a review on it. You can check that out at the this link right here. But this is a Kydex inside the waist holster as well. Um, and what I like about this is it is very slim. Okay, it's it's not going to um, be real bulky for inside the waist. And what I like about it is is also it covers 
pretty much the entire gun on the back, which is great. Um, it does draw very easily. It slides in. It's got nice retention. Um, but what I like about this is it's going to hold it pretty tight to the body. So there's very little, if any, printing at all with this holster, which is, um, for a lot of you, that that's an important thing. But this is a really cool holster. Now, during the winter time, when I'm wearing fleeces or jackets or whatever, um, sometimes I like to go outside the waist uh, with my holsters. And I've found this one, and I use this uh, quite a lot. Um, and it's, it's a cheap holster, but it's, it's plastic. But it does a great job, and that is uh, it's Phobos. And for those of you that are familiar with Phobos, they are great little holsters, especially for the price. I would say that Phobos probably makes the best holsters around for the price. Uh, very inexpensive, uh, very simple. Uh, I do go outside the waist with a paddle. I do like the paddle. Um, some people don't, but you can take the paddle off of this if you want to. Um, you don't have to use a paddle. Uh, there are different attachments you can have that goes to the belt or whatever, but I like the paddle. But what I love about this Phobos is it's very lightweight. Even though it's outside the waist, uh, it, it's pretty compact. It stays in the position off my hip that I really, really like. So, um, you know, once again, I'm not saying that you had to go get these. I'm saying what I use. Um, and for outside the waist with my, my shield, I go with the Phobos for sure. All right, the next, the, the, the last gun that uh, I will carry, I don't carry it very often, but I do carry it. Uh, I, I typically use this as my competition gun, but uh, I will carry it during the wintertime sometimes is my Glock 19. Now, mine is a Gen 3, uh, which in my opinion is the best of the uh, Glock generations, but that's just my personal opinion. I know I'm going to start a little discussion and war out there on what it is, but um, this is my favorite pistol. Uh, it's a phenomenally um, accurate pistol. It is simple. Yes, Glock, they, they don't do anything flashy with them. Um, they just work. And um, I, I love this gun. Um, it's my favorite pistol. But I will carry this some out throughout the uh, wintertime, especially if I'm wearing a coat and all that. Uh, for the summertime, when I'm not wearing a coat or a fleece or something, for me, uh, I'm not a big guy. For me, this is a little bulky. Um, and a little bit heavy for an everyday carry. That's why I, I carry the shield uh, mostly. Um, I do not personally like to carry this inside the waist. It's just too bulky. Uh, what I do carry is outside the waist, and I have uh, a couple different that I have gone through, but uh, I will go with uh, the holster that I use now. It is an outside the waist. It is a Marine Corps insignia. Uh, this is by Outlaw Holsters, um, and it's a great outside the waistband Kydex holster. Um, it, it, it's not terribly expensive. I think this is like 30, 35 bucks. I need to tighten that screw up there, don't I? Um, they're about 30, 35 bucks, which for a nice uh, custom Kydex holster is phenomenal. I've had this for about a year, or maybe less than a year, maybe since about April. Um, and I love this thing. This is actually the holster that I use in competition. Um, it, 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 it's a it's a perfect fitting holster for the Glock 19. Well, guys, I hope that this video helps you um, with some ideas about carry guns for your EDC and concealed carry, uh, and also some different uh, holster types. Like I said, there I, you know there's thousands of holsters out there, and obviously the number one thing about holsters it's got to be comfortable for you. It's got to be what you're looking for. I've given you some things that I use and have used that I like. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they're right for you. But these are some really good companies with some really good holsters that you can check out. Uh, these are the holsters that I, I have used and use. And, and I like them and they're not going to break the bank as well. So if you're worried about um, your concealed carry on a budget with your holsters and all that, go check out these, uh, these holster companies and, and see what they have to offer you. But like I said, uh, everyone has their different opinions on... Uh, concealed carry pistols and what their everyday carry is. Uh, I kind of just want to go over about what I carry on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Until next time, Simplify. Hey guys, Ghost here. Just want to say thank you for watching this video and your continued support of the channel. Please check out our website www.ghosttactical.us to see all of our ventures including Patreon. We also invite you to check out gunchannels.com once again, thank you for your support. Until next time, 
Simplify.